First and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wabrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth. To the rest of the church who believe as well, you men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him endearing and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. I have the book of Revelations 12 and 12 pulled up, but I want to hold this in fact. And let's go to Matthew's first. Matthew's chapter 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. So this gospel that we're teaching is going all throughout the earth and it's bringing the end of Esau's age. It's bringing down his rulership. Esau is like a great mountain that's going to be removed, that's going to fall. And we have faith in that. So this gospel that we're teaching, that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has given us through the Holy Spirit, okay? It's going throughout the whole world. Now we understand it can't be Christianity because Christianity has gone throughout the whole world already. And the end still hasn't came yet. But more so, it was speaking of the true gospel, which is what you see brethren teaching right now. Seeing that this is going out, the end is being made manifest. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. That's why so much is happening. I mean... It's really hard to keep up with so much and seeing how Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai isn't letting up. We're literally in those days that the Bible has talked about from the ancient days, from ancient time ago. We're literally living in those moments now of seeing this gospel spread throughout the whole world. And it's happened in such a small time, you know, going back around the 70s up until now being 2024 this gospel the true gospel has really spread throughout the earth because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is working if it be of the Lord you can't overthrow it you just can't let's go to Isaiah 46 and verse 10 declaring the end from the beginning and the end is being declared due to this word going out because the Lord is good on his word. He is not a man that he should lie. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is being done. Hence, Babylon's fallen. This world as we know it, or this current age is falling and these devils know it. So let's go back to where I started in Revelations 12 and verse 12, which is spiritual because 12 and 12, when you times that together, that's 144. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. So, Speaking of Esau, they should rejoice because this is their world. They're like a great mountain that's exalted in the air. Okay. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. So all the elites, all those who are at the top, all those who are exalted in this world. Because remember, it tells you how Lucifer is going to fall from heaven, which is a future prophecy. All right. But it's still their time. 
So before they go down, they're going to have a little bit of fun. But the kingdom of heaven is also within us. So we should rejoice because this is a sign that we are close. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you. So the devil is going to come down unto us like someone who would come down from a great mountain. Seeing that they're exalted and they're going to come down mercilessly slaughtering and devouring the prey. Whom Yahweh by Shem Shai allows them to slaughter, allows them to get a hold of. Some people are going to be thrown in concentration camps. Some people are going to be taken out right on the spot. Other people, you know, however the Lord sets it up, it's how it's going to be done. Other people might be taken out by vicious animals. All right. It's all the Lord's will. But the devil is going to show that. And when I say the devil, which is they, which is a race of people that I'm speaking of, referring to. The elites of Edom are going to come down and they're really going to exercise their dominion before they're really brought down. OK, they're going to bring out the robot dogs that breathe fire. They're going to bring out the, the, the super soldiers that are able to pick up cars. They're going to. You know, bring out all the toys, you know, behind the scenes that they have fun with, that they've been working on. They're going to bring these things out and really get get to, you know, mauling people down. You know, you might have convoys going around, picking up bodies, throwing them in the back, known as crematory convoys. Which a lot of people say that's conspiracy theory, but what you don't understand is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is about to unleash the gates of hell. Okay? That's why we need Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, because this gospel is not only bringing the end, the devil knows that this gospel is bringing the end. So now they're, they're trying to really do something. A lot of the elites who are up in age, who are soon to go to the grave, they're in that mind frame of, OK, we have to do something now. Time is running out. We have to make this plan come to fruition, which is that new world order. Revelations 12 and 12 again. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So how is this time? How is the time being shortened? The time is being shortened. Because this word is going out. The time is being shortened because of this gospel. Matthew chapter 24 and 14 again. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So that's how these devils know that the time is short. They see us bringing out this truth. The jar has been opened. All right. The closet is no longer able to be closed. The things that have been hidden, the things that have been, you know, in secret are no longer able to be hidden. OK. The Lord is doing so much because the elect who are here on earth, who he finds favor in. He's making moves. He's bringing the end for the elect. Seeing this, the elect spreading this gospel. Matthew 24 and verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the devil knows that he has but a short time, which is why they're going to come down with great wrath. They're going to come down, you know, with with a lot of wrath, with a lot of anger, a lot of jealousy, a lot of rage shown towards the Lord's people. But the thing is, everybody on earth is going to be affected. OK, it's going to be a time where Esau is not going to show mercy. All right. Don't be surprised when they start to try to slander us even more, put us in the media 
as the bad guys, put us in the media as doing things that we don't do, you know, making things up because being in this world is easy to play on the emotions of people. All right. Proverbs 14 and 15, the simple believe it every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. So people are simple. People are very simple minded and they believe everything that's told to them. So it won't be hard for Esau to work up some type of narrative to try to have us looking like Thanos, to have us looking like the bad guys. When in reality, when you look at the character Thanos, by the way, he was actually a good guy, but his character was written as a bad guy. All right. So Esau is going to try to play off the minds of our people, the minds of the world to try to get them to look at us like we're evil, like we're criminals. When in reality, the real criminals are the ones who rule this world. That great mountain being America and that great mountain being those who are at the top. Those who rule this world being the elites of Edom, they're the real villains. All right. That's why when you turn to righteousness, you become hated because we live in a world that's being ran by the wicked and everybody's under their vibration. And you have these these devils plotting on us. Isaiah 59 and 15. Yea, truth felleth, and he that departed from evil make it himself a prey. So when you depart from evil, it's like you're being made a spoil. You're being hunted. You know, Esau has his eyes on what we're doing, but the Lord is with us. That's why for Israelites who are like literally playing games, that's stupid because not only is Esau against you, the Lord is against you too. So where are you going to run when it gets serious? You have to be about this, man. Because the days are coming where Esau is going to show that wrath. Definitely. It's not going to be like it was, you know, back in uh, 67 AD. Now we're in the time of technology. You know, Esau is really going to come hard with his tactics. They have a lot of ways to have some fun with the people, the people of this world. Because Yahweh by Shimei I was shy is going to allow them to sharpen that sword and, and have a ball before they get taken down. Yea, truth felleth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. So these devils are looking at us like we're the bad guys. They're trying to overthrow us because through this gospel going out, which is being spoken by us through the Holy Spirit, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashami Shai. Now we're looked at as the bad guys. We're looked at as a prey and the Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment. So here it is. These devils plot on us all day long and there's no one on earth to stop that. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai eventually is going to send Yahweh Shai and bring these devils down. This is what's coming. Persecution upon those who fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But that's why you have to have faith. Let's go to 2nd Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. When you depart from evil, you make yourself a prey. And that's going to cause a lot of people to come against us because the elite are not only going to try to come up against us and hunt us down, they're going to try to create narratives to make us look like we're the criminals, we're the villains and have even, you know, everyday pedestrians coming against us as they already do. But it will get worse. But this time, you know, Yahweh by Shemi Shai is going to be with us. It's not going to be like the old days where people have their way with us and just be kicking our behinds and, you know, really doing us dirty. We're in a time now where the, the righteous and the wicked are going to receive their reward. Okay. And you elites, no matter how much, you know, you plot and how much you, you, you fantasize on bringing us down, you can't do nothing to the Lord's elect Romans chapter eight and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? 
show tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. As it is written for thy sake, we are killed all the day long because for the Lord's sake, we're made a prey. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us because Yahweh Shai already conquered. He already finished the job. All we have to do is follow behind, man, and have faith that we are going to come in that same stead and finish the job just like our Lord and Savior did. Endure. All right. So these devils know their time is short and we should be rejoicing. We shouldn't be nervous in terms of, you know, well, what if this happens? You know, what's going to happen to my family? What's going to happen to me and and such and such? Look, man, we should be looking forward to Esau coming down with great wrath, bringing forth that mark of the beast. We should be looking forward to these things because this means our salvation is right at the door. Literally, we know once Esau comes down upon our people with great wrath and that mark of the beast is implemented, we ain't going to be here another year. Once that happens, man, I'm telling you, time is going to speed up. Because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is not going to allow these devils having their time to just chip everybody on earth. That's why it tells you, and let's just go back to it. Matthew 24 and verse 22. And except those days be shortened. So once that mark of the beast is implemented, you better believe those days are going to be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, which is also speaking of the days we're in now. You know, you got GMO foods, the water's polluted, you know, everything is polluted. But especially when that mark of the beast is implemented, the days are going to be shortened because if the Lord prolonged the days coming, when that chip is here, everybody would be chipped or killed. Okay. There should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is not going to allow Esau to put a chip in everybody. For the sake of the elect, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to make that a very, very short time period. All right. So as much as these devils lust and plot on us, we are OK. We are going to endure so be that we were called and chosen from the beginning. And that's what it's all about. OK, and not, not only that, look, <laughs> all these different men waking up, all these different camps that you see, you can't tell me this gospel's not going out, which is already written through that happening. This end would come. These devils know these things, man. And they're nervous. They're scared. So I'm going to go on ahead and wrap it up there. Give all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wawakakwadash. Shalom. Shalom.